One of the things that has come to define Comic-Con in recent years is the 6,000-seat panel room known as Hall H. To some attendees, it represents that Comic-Con has sold out to Hollywood and grown too big. To outsiders, it's that annual insanity of people lining up and camping out overnight at the San Diego Convention Center. And to the people waiting in line, well, even they have a hard time explaining why they do it. You stare at the sidewalk, you're staring at the gravel for so long, you go into like sensory deprivation, then if you get lucky you get into something and then you see something awesome and then it's like sensory overload and then you're just like, it feels awesome that you're part of something. I I'm here for the spectacle. Trying to get into Hall H to be part of that spectacle requires special ops skills. Now if you Google me, almost nothing comes up and I like that. Brooklyn agreed to share an insider perspective, as long as I didn't use her full name. She runs one of the multiple Hall H line groups. I read on Reddit that their group is 100 people. It kind of intensified where you had to be more organized because everybody around you was also being more organized. So we ended up getting on a Google spreadsheet. Attending Comic-Con now requires tactical skill if you want to get an exclusive toy or get into Hall H when Marvel has a panel. But it's worth it, says Brooklyn. We're all going to the same thing and we're all hyper. And then when you get in that room and you've worked that hard and you're with all your friends, when Tom Hiddleston walks out dressed as Loki. I am Loki. The crowd. Of Asgard. The, the sound of the crowd. The arena they call Hall H. But when everybody's camped out and then sat in that room, all day long for that Marvel panel. And they finally start telling you everything that's going to happen for the next few years. The feel of the crowd is just something that you won't get anywhere else. Say my name! But not everyone gets that. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He still doesn't understand why I want to do this. He's at home with our daughter. Some blame Twilight Moms for ruining Comic-Con and making Hall H inaccessible. But those Twilight moms were just geeky fans like all those who attended before them. They just happened to be older women and teenage girls, a demographic that had not been seen in such large numbers before. But Comic-Con attendance overall has been growing, and that's why it's important to be prepared. This year we're much more prepared. Um, we brought chairs, umbrellas, sleeping bag, that kind of thing. We didn't really anticipate sleeping. So do your research online, read through the program schedule, and make practical plans. That means pack snacks and water, deodorant if you want to be considerate of others, and wear comfy shoes because you can easily do 30,000 steps on the exhibit floor. But the most important thing to remember is that Comic-Con can be whatever you make it. You can do panels or shop or game or cosplay. Just remember to have geeky fun. Figure out what you're into. What are you comfortable with? If you're not comfortable sleeping out, that's fine. But if you do want to wait in line, embrace it as an opportunity to be with people who love the same things as you. It's really a lot of fun. You, you, there's a lot of camaraderie that you build up with people. Like Joey said, even people that you don't know that you meet that have been in line. And everybody else back home, they think I'm nuts. But these girls, we found like -minded people. we're soulmates. We get, we get each other. We understand it. You know, We get excited about the same things. So it's really fun. For many of us, Comic-Con is our happy place. In other words, Chewing. We're home. Bethica Mondo, KPBS News.